What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and I am here to give you my review of Corsair's Void Surround gaming headset. So I've been using this the past week or so playing the new Tom Clancy's Division game and here's what I have to say about this. Alright, so the Void Surround gaming headsets are available in wireless, USB, analog stereo and hybrid stereo. However, the gaming headset I'm reviewing in this video features a Dolby 7.1 USB adapter and universal compatibility. That's right guys, this headset doesn't just work on PCs, it's compatible with smartphones, tablets, PS4 and even Xbox One given that you have this stereo adapter for it. Let's start with the price. This headset will cost you around 80 bucks MSRP but you can pick them up for a few bucks cheaper on Amazon which I'll have linked below. The construction is made out of plastic which helps keep the weight and cost down and the cushions have this breathable cloth material which helps keep my ears nice and cozy. A little too cozy if you ask me. My ears did get pretty warm with these on for about an hour, which honestly I don't think I'll be able to wear these in summer here in California which gets over triple digits. As far as comfort level, I gotta say these are pretty damn good. I played the Division for a good 3 hours and my ears did not feel fatigued at all. The headband comes with a good amount of padding and the ear cups are large enough to fit around my ear for a really nice snug fit. Now because they are made out of plastic it felt like I can easily break the headset but to my surprise these are actually pretty sturdy and flexible for the most part. You get aluminum sliders which extend quite a bit and the ear cups swivel about 90 degrees to get you that perfect fit. The ear cups have this matte red finish that surrounds a glossy black surface with a Corsair logo. Needless to say, I was immediately attracted to the color scheme. On the left ear cup you will find a mute button and right behind the earpiece is a volume wheel which is actually pretty convenient to reach during gaming. The headset also comes with a built in mic which can be adjusted from top to bottom and bending the mic allows you to shape it into any desired angle you prefer. As far as sound quality is concerned, well, you can be the judge. Alright, so this is the microphone test. I'm wearing the Corsair Void Surround Gaming headset and I'm talking directly inside the microphone and this is without editing. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing voiceovers with this thing. If it's just for gaming, it will get the job done. Now let's talk about the sound. Is this whole surround sound thing a gimmick? Well, no, it's not. I can definitely hear the difference coming from regular headphones like my M50Xs, for example. The sound is more immersive, and the best way I can explain this is that I can hear explosions and gunshots behind me that actually come from behind me. With the voice around, I can pinpoint where the action is happening, and that goes for vocals, explosions, footsteps, and other sounds as well. It's pretty cool. It kind of gives the game a 3D feel. Combine that with an ultra-wide monitor, and you truly get a fully immersive experience. Using the void to listen to music has also been really positive for me. The lows are definitely in the deep end, you get a really nice bass, the mids are well defined, however I did find the highs to be lacking in clarity. Using my M50Xs I can clearly hear background music in my YouTube videos, but switching to these, the background music becomes very faint and quiet. That's something I definitely wanted to mention. You also get no noise isolation, even though these have a closed back design, it honestly feels like open back headphones. I can hear all the ambient noises around, especially when I'm typing on my mechanical keyboard. I mean don't get me wrong, this isn't a bad thing, it just depends on personal preference. I'm pretty sure the cloth ear cup material is the reason why you don't get a nice tight seal. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is the Corsair Utility Engine, which is a program that allows you to adjust the mic levels and create up to 5 EQ profiles to get the sound you desire. Or you can just simply select from a pre-configured list. You can use this software to make the bass deeper or get those crystal clear highs, you're basically in control. All I can say is I definitely had lots of fun messing around with this to get the sound I was going for. So in conclusion, I think for its price, this is a solid gaming headset. Other than having a pretty crappy mic, flimsy build, and no noise isolation, which is a personal preference, this is something I would pay 80 bucks for. If it were to go anything above 100, I would say no. The Dolby 7.1 surround sound really makes my gameplay much more enjoyable, and the comfort level is as good as my HyperX Cloud 2s. Yeah, it's that comfortable. So that pretty much wraps the review, I'll drop links below if anyone is interested in checking these out. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more reviews on the channel, make sure to leave a like as it does help me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.